sprinkled in doing this. Going to Costco, which I feel like is always a huge undertaking. It's just really overwhelming there. You know, there's people like fighting to cut in front of you to get like the sample of almond milk and just like, it's kind of craziness. But the deals are so good and they have so many more healthy brands there now. So there are a lot of staples that I like to have in my pantry and in my fridge just to make healthy eating way easier for our family. But I'm going to show you guys everything that I get typically and I might show you a few extras that if I don't need them this week are still some of my favorites in case they're things that you want to grab next time you go shopping. And I want to do a giveaway for you too to help make grocery shopping a little bit easier. I'm going to be giving away a $100 Visa gift card to one of you girls just for being a subscriber to my channel. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, give it a little like, and let's go to Costco. me crazy about Costco I will say I love that you can literally buy like everything there you need a new trash can got it sheets which I got for myself check and anyway, I'm gonna start showing you guys the stuff that I got I think I'm gonna start with the freezer stuff so I can put that away first this is something I use every single day the last trip I took to Costco was the first time I actually ever found these and now I'm kind of obsessed with them so they're these little superfood packs um, they have blueberries strawberries raspberries kale spinach and bananas so I just use these as my individual smoothie pack. So like I drop one in the blender for myself, add my milk, add my Elsa protein, good to go. And it just makes it so simple because I used to either have to make all my smoothies like fresh every morning or I would bag everything together, but they're already in little individual bags. My Siete tortillas. These are really the only tortillas I eat regularly. I do love a corn tortilla now and then, but these are the grain-free ones. They also have a really good amount of protein. So in two of these, there's six grams of protein. So it just adds to my meals and they're so easy. I sometimes even will just throw like tuna in them, but I'll use them for tacos or taco bowls or anything at night too. And they're just super clean, healthy, grain-free, simple tortillas if you're trying to avoid like corn. Over the last year, I've ordered more takeout and done more like pre-made food than I have in my, well, not my entire life, but in the last like several years, just being a new mom and stuff. Um, but I found these at Whole Foods actually, and they're such a better price at Costco. So they're already cooked. I haven't tried this flavor. It's chicken chili, chili rojo, um, but it sounds really good. And they're just really clean. The chicken's already made. They're really clean sauces. There's not like any sugar. There's only two grams of sugar and that's not added sugar or anything. 20 grams of protein and five ounces. Cause obviously it's chicken but I just love you keep them in the fridge and you can heat them up in like five minutes and make a yummy meal super, super fast. Mushrooms, I used to hate them, but I freaking love mushrooms now. If you saute them up with like olive oil or butter and garlic and stuff. The reason why I got these is because when I cook with them a lot, but they're such a fast way to get a lot of protein as well. So mushrooms are a really good source of protein out of all your veggie choices. So whether you're like vegan or if you just want to have more plant-based proteins in your meal or you just want to add more protein without needing to add like a second chicken breast or something go for your like your mushrooms um and i just got them at costco because you get a lot of them obviously for a good price okay, staying on the like high protein train these egg bites simplify life so much like are they exactly what i would want no like would i have less dairy in them and what else do they put in them um yeah there's like some cheese and yogurt monterey jack cheese whatever i would probably not add all that stuff when i make it myself i don't add all that but when you need a hearty breakfast fast and you want to have eggs and you want something good and healthy and pretty clean and you don't have time to make it these are great so ryan and i have these in the fridge all the time they have different flavors and stuff again this is one that i found at whole foods and you basically get four of these for the price of two when you buy them at Costco versus Whole Foods. So obviously much better. The wild caught albacore tuna, if you've not had this at Costco and either you're not a huge tuna person or you're kind of like so-so, try this one. I don't know what it is. It is just such good, clean, not fishy, like 
it's very mild like in taste and everything with the best tuna they also have cans of like chicken too but i just i don't really like the chicken i always go for the tuna but again really fast lunches you can mix it up with greek yogurt to reduce the fat i mean i love doing like avocado mayo too or half and half but greek yogurt is a great alternative as well which they have really good priced organic greek yogurt at costco but it's in a tub like this big and i just felt like it was not going to work in my fridge but anyway this tune is great and then i got these i normally love like the chomps turkey sticks because i don't really do beef they didn't have those at costco so these are the archer grass-fed beef though which i love that it's grass-fed so i don't know i haven't had actual beef in probably 10 years you guys <laughs> like not joking i got these mostly for ryan but i kind of feel like i've been wanting to try to do beef now that grass-fed beef is more readily available and stuff so i'll keep you posted for some snacks i always have nuts around you have to be careful of nuts though because it's easy to eat a ton of them and although they're really healthy fats those calories can add up and just be like way more than you need in any like snacking situation so i always like any little nut packs if i can um these are just like pistachios which i feel like are an underrated nut pistachios are so good but these ones have different flavors. Normally I just do plain, like unsalted, unroasted, whatever. But you can rarely find those in packs. So I always have like a bunch that I mix together that are plain in the cabinet. And then I have little packs like these so I can grab them when I am just on the go and I want something fast and I don't have to deal with like putting it in a baggie or anything. And once in a while having the flavor or the salt, like excess salt and stuff is not gonna be like horrible. So um, these looked really good. There's, what are there? Garlic garden herbs one that's just like roasted with sea salt and then jalapeno lime that's actually what sold me on these these are the best crackers ever there's different flavors at costco they only have these ones which are just like this fine ground sea salt but they're almond flour crackers so literally all that's in them are almonds sunflower seeds flax seeds tapioca starch cassava flour organic sunflower oil sea salt organic onion organic garlic rosemary extract that's it i'm so happy they had these i have never seen them at costco before so they're dried like basically like dehydrated dried out blueberries which i love using in my protein pancakes so if you've seen my recipe i have a short of it here on youtube and i shared it on instagram they're like the most simple like four five if you count this as an ingredient <laughs> ingredient protein pancakes that are so yummy and they're fluffy and they're sweet and delicious packed with protein and i always throw in either like blueberries or strawberries that are dried out so this is great because the price is really awesome for organic ones and this will last me a lot longer than like the little bags i was getting at whole Foods. i've never tried these before but they looked really good they're called aussie bites they're organic um it's just rolled oats dried apricots flax seed sunflower seeds honey coconut quinoa chia seeds and more um but they're really clean simple ingredients this to me is like a pre-workout snack because it does have um, a little bit more of those sugars in it it's not super high protein so after your workout you want carbs and protein is really a big focus before a workout carbs are great um, and Aussies just do everything well. I feel like their coffee's great, their breakfast is great, their snacks. These remind me of something that my mom used to make all the time, so I'm excited to try them. And then I really do like this Dave's Killer Bread. It never seems to upset my stomach. It's high in protein. Ryan is obsessed with it. And I was craving like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know why lately it had sounded so good. I haven't had a peanut butter and jelly in so long. So I got a giant thing of the bread and then the giant Costco peanut butter because it's organic creamy peanut butter that's actually like clean there's not added sugars or anything else that shouldn't be in there it's just peanut butter um so now I can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for myself you've probably seen this on some of my swap videos like for cereal swaps and stuff I really like this Catalina crunch it's like kind of like cinnamon toast crunch but it's high in protein like how much 11 grams of protein per serving so this is super low in sugar there's literally zero grams of sugar so super duper low um high protein and just like a good way to get that kind of yummy cinnamon toast crunch vibe i like to just do it on yogurt i sometimes have it just with milk but for the most part i throw it on top of like my greek yogurt or something to give a crunch but again another way of sneaking in more protein because that was my focus this year okay last few random things reos marinara i love their sauces again it's about simple ingredients and this is just so simple so clean really good no sugar which a lot of red sauces and marinara sauces add a ton of sugar 
You don't need it, you don't want it, so this is a good one. Baby spinach for my salads and my smoothies and with my eggs, I use spinach every single day. I just throw it in with something. It just shrinks down so small so you barely know it's there, but you get that iron and other micronutrients that are just so good for you. A giant bag of organic avocados because we eat avocados like every single day and now Luke's eating avocados too, which is really cute. I did not try this salsa, but it looked really bomb. I love salsa because I do my taco bowls all the time. And salsa is just a good way to add a lot of flavor with again, out adding like a bunch of excess fat or calories or anything else. Just like really clean and delicious. Yes, it has salt, but like it's okay. Giant three pack of my apple cider vinegar, but I use it every day. I still do like my wing woman and apple cider vinegar as a hot drink in the mornings or throw it in. I use it for cooking all the time, for sauces and things, dressings. So it's just one of those price things. You're like, it's just such a good price. Short, long story. I had a three pack of these from the last trip I took sitting in the garage and I actually knocked them off the shelf and they broke all over the garage. It flooded basically with apple cider vinegar and it smelled awful for like a week, but we're gonna protect these ones. I don't know if I've ever actually tried these, but they're a local brand here in Orange County, which is super cool. And they're just paleo, organic, basil and cracked black pepper chicken sausages. They're already cooked. So again, making dinners or lunches super easy. This is really more of a dinner thing for me, but all you have to do is like warm them up in a pan or the microwave, throw them with some like pasta and some of the bread sauce or something, and you have a dinner, easy, good to go, um, with a lot of protein. All right, you guys, so that is everything I got at Costco during this trip. Obviously it changes each time, just kind of depending on what we need and what I find. I feel like they're always getting new stuff in and I like love trying to add new things into the mix. So. If you like these grocery hauls, hit the thumbs up, comment down below and let me know either where you wanna see me grocery shop next or if there's certain foods you wanna see, like I feel like snack foods are always a good one and you wanna see like healthier versions of some of your favorites, tell me down below in the comments because I love making these videos and I wanna do a lot of them this summer because I feel like summer is the time of like ultimate snacking chips and barbecues and all of that. And to win the $100 Visa gift card, all you need to do is hit the link down below to join my text club and I will send you a text. I'll be picking one of you girls to win and dropping it in the community channel here on YouTube next week. So it could be you. Anyway, I love you guys. Don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you next week. Bye.